The helmet of Malek I placed before the pillar of conflict. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The act had taken on the feel of ritual. Isn't it strange how we must bribe our gods to stay? At the foot of the energy pillar, I set the cloak of Dejul. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The antler headdress of the druid bane I lay before the nature pillar. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. You must seek Azimuth the Planar at the heart of Avernus. Three instruments await you to aid you in your quest. But first you must rise, and you must fall, and find your salvation in between. Avernus consumed itself before my eyes. There seemed no easy path to gain entry to the hell laid out before me. Perhaps there was a way inside from above the chaos that reigned there.
The gate of Avernus opened slowly before me, daring me to cross the threshold. Who was I to reject such an invitation?
The city was paved in blood and flesh, yet what would have appalled me in life only tempted me in death. Once I would have felt horror, now only hunger remained. Avernus lay in ruins before me. Whatever hand slaughtered its people ravaged the city as well.
felt its eyes upon me, eager, hungry, as if it longed to rip my heart out and eat it before me as I died. I laughed as the onslaught began. Perhaps, when it was over, it would be the other way around. Avernus was a religious autocracy, with the cathedral as its dais of power. Though the city lay in ruins, the cathedral remained untouched. The demons knew better than to bite the hand that feeds them.
And Hashak Gix spoke unto the world, and all who heard trembled. Bring me your firstborn, and shed their blood upon the altar of the world, so that I may take nourishment from them. Do this without question, or suffer my wrath for eternity. And its will was done. <laughs>
fades even legend, and the origin of Soul Reaver has been lost long ago. But its purpose remains, to feed on the souls of any creature it strikes. Kindred, this blade and I.
This armor was spawned in the most impure of spirit forges, tempered from the seething agony of tortured souls. The metal exists only partially in the human realm, causing it to fade between tangible and ethereal states. Above me stood a memory, etched in stained glass. Ah, what's this? I had not even realized the blade and the raiment were here. You wear those trinkets well, Kane, but I do believe that they would look better on me. The matriarch of Avernus, the Lady Azimuth, her magical planing skills summon demons through runes inscribed in human blood. Come to me.
to me, my children. We shall ravage Nazgoth together. Arr. was little trouble. Once her demonic thralls had been dispatched, she fell quickly to my blade. Oh. Azimuth Third Eye, a gift from the Pillar of Dimensions, allowed the planar sight into other realms. The pillar reclaims its own. It will deliver you in time.